Hi guys, it's me again, the Greek vegan. And today I thought I'd stand right next to my Christmas tree, which is a vegan Christmas tree. And instead of an angel, it has a cow angel. I'll show you right away. There she is, she says hi. She says, watch how to make giant beans with Lisa, the Greek vegan. So yeah, hi, um, today we'll be cooking giant beans. Giant beans is a fantastic uh, dish. And you must be thinking, oh, oh my God, this girl, all she knows to do is beans and legumes. Well, it is pretty neat. Uh, it's so nutritious and it gives you lots of vitamins and protein and um, it's a delicious dish and it's different from the bean soup um, because it's cooked in the oven and um, it's not necessarily a winter dish it's something that we can eat all year long so first thing you need to do is soak your giant beans in the water for um, the night which means maybe eight hours and at least eight hours so they absorb the water and they become giant and as my mother used to say you need to eat your giant beans so that you become a giant so let's get on with it in the kitchen these are my giant beans they are half a kilo so approximately a pound which i've soaked in the water um, all the night and they are ready. The first thing we'll do is that we'll boil them. So I'll take these beans, throw the water in which they have soaked away and boil them in fresh water. That would be the step number one. So we need to boil them for about 30 to 40 minutes. Um, so that they become um, nice and soft. And meanwhile, what we can do is to prepare the rest of the ingredients, which of course I will show you right away. You will notice that as the beans are boiling, um, they get this kind of foam. Nothing to worry about it. You just take it off with a spoon and you lower the heat. You don't need them to be boiling so much and such a big heat. So what you do is just take out the foam, throw it away, take out the foam, throw it away, and so on. And we will preheat the oven at 200 degrees Celsius, which would be 390 degrees Fahrenheit. These are the ingredients. You will need two large carrots, some parsley, maybe a green pepper, uh, two cloves of garlic, an onion, salt and pepper, tomato, and one cup of olive oil. Not the coffee. The coffee is just there. It is not an ingredient. We will use this glass-made baking pan, um, it's called a Pyrex, and we will throw our chopped ingredients in the pan directly. As so, like directly in the pan. In this pan we will also put tomatoes. I have here maybe two cups of tomato sauce and a cup of olive oil. Olive oil is a very important ingredient. You should not put less than a cup of olive oil. Now the beans should be soft enough um, and um, the ingredients are ready and waiting for them. The oven is heated enough and I am boiling some water here and I don't know if you remember 
but we will do the same thing with it with the lentils and with the bean soup so we will already put the boiled water like lots of it in the glass pan as so and then we will strain quickly the beans and put them in the pan so I'm quickly straining them and putting them in the pan I will stir a tiny little bit Look how beautiful this is. This is just amazing and it will be even more amazing once it's cooked. So I'm stirring a little bit just to let the ingredients go about everywhere to make a nice colorful pan. And I will make sure that they have enough boiled water because they will have to be in the oven for about an hour. So I'll also check frequently if they have enough water. I don't want them to burn. Now very carefully I will put them in the oven. I will put them in the lowest part of the oven. Right on the floor. Who this is hot. Very, very carefully because there is lots of water there. There. Hi there, beans. Cook well. See you later. So, about the salt in this um, dish, giant beans need a lot of salt. So you would need for this um, pan at least two uh, teaspoons of salt. Don't be afraid of it. They need it. They absorb it. Um, of course, you don't want to put too much salt uh, because you can always add later on. But it's important to bake it with the salt because the giant beans absorb the liquid around them. And they actually absorb it in and it makes them a lot tastier than if you hadn't put salt while you cook them. It's a very nutritious meal. It offers you for only 320 calories per serving. It offers you 10 grams of protein. It offers you almost 40 grams of carbohydrates, no cholesterol at all. Um, and uh, more of a vitamin A that you can handle, also some calcium, some iron, some vitamin C, and um, 20 grams of dietary fiber. So it's good for you. It actually does make you giant. Eat it. It's good and delicious. And there you go. Just fresh out of the oven. These amazing giant beans, they smell delicious, they look delicious, and they're waiting for you to eat them. So guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave your comments, tell me if you liked it, tell me if you have more ideas, uh, or just anything you would like to tell me. And I'll see you soon with another amazing Greek bacon recipe. Bye!